It just it just seems like a very lighthearted visual novel game. But I don't know, let's see where it goes. Let's see. Smiles normally at me once. Hold on, there's still one problem. What is that? We're back to the original topic of me joining the club. I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind. Said I would join this club. Sorry I may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at. Here's my train of thought. <clears throat> Four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but. I'm sorry, I thought. Huh. You just got me. He, you all. I'm defenseless against this girl. How am I supposed to make a clear headed decision when it's like this? Uh, you just walk away, that's what you do. That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the club. When are we going to the rose light? Uh, yay! <laughs> yay! Now all the, now the uh, disturbing stuff can happen, right? <sighs> so hear me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. What the heck? Why doesn't that show up? I'm so confused. It's like an over- the Steam overlay. It doesn't show up even though I'm using a window capture. Everyone remembers tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring the next to the next meeting so we can all share. Looks like we wait once more. I look forward to seeing you express yourself. Yeah. Let me press a class with the medium of writing skills. I already feel the anxiety while up. Oh, whatever. You're in high school. Writing isn't going to be that great anyways. Clean up their food. Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Might as well. Uh -huh. I, I know what what this game needs. This game needs more, uh, needs more, um, um, you know, um, this. Haha, <clears throat> <laughs> I have amazing bartending skills. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make her way home. Wanders back and forth between the four girls. Shit, I don't know which girl to pick. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Which one? Which one's the best? The, the, the what, is, what is it called? Best Bay? Is that what they say? Is that what they say these days? And of course, Monica. Well, I'd really be happy spending every day after school in the nurse club. Um. If I was forced to pick a girl, I would pick, uh, Monica. She's my type. I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Join the fight against sobriety. Or sobriety, if you can spell. Uh, I hope that's not what they say. Funnier that you misspell sobriety. Yeah, I was like, what the heck is the brain? They sound... Where they are, they sound stupid. Having a poem today. Okay. Hmm? A poem? I think your favorite club member will, like, member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Are you serious? Okay. <laughs> Let's see. What's a good word for to use in a poem? Let's see. Um, I'm not good at English, so, and I mean that in the sense of like writing, not like the language. I mean, I guess those go hand in hand, though. Uh, let's see. Memories. What? Which word do I gravitate towards? That's a good question. That's that. That's a better way to put it. Um, 
existence. Existence, that's a good word. I'm going with that. Okay. Um, I have to pick 20 words? Holy shit, okay. Um, essence for um, existence. Secretive. Twirl. Pop a marshmallow. Milk. Okay, I can see two words that go with existence. And that's secretive and dream. Let me think. Which one should I go with? Dream or secretive? I don't know. Marshmallow! No, we're not going with marshmallow! <laughs> I'm going with secretive. Precious Valentine. What did I go with? I went with, um... I totally forgot the first one. <laughs> I'm being stupid right now. Um... Precious question, determination. <clears throat> oh yeah, existence and secretive. Okay, let's see. Question. We're gonna go with a very, uh, surreal kind of feel with this poem. Um, ruin, bliss, peace. Daydream, a tone. Daydream, no. I don't like any of these words. I think peace works though. Boop, okay. Uh, misfortune, intellectual jump, sticky, hopeless. Hopeless. Strawberry, dance, covet. Friends, fickle, nightgown, wonderful, cheeks, disaster, color. Um. Covet. Agonizing, unending, extreme. Ooh, I like these words. Heaven sent, insight, holiday, vibrant, uncanny, shopping. I like I like unending and agonizing. Extreme. Hmm. Surreal or ninth grade goth poetry. Don't make fun of my word choices. Oh my god. This is unending, unending. Let's see. Um, infinite, romance, journey, van vanilla, fluffy, amazing, adventure, broken bunny. Uh, infinite, desire, tears, after image, hair, charm, pain, together, disoriented. Blanket, incongruent. Ooh, incongruent. Um, entropy, that's a good one. Depression. Um, entropy. Uh, yeah, we can throw in some anxiety, too. Wait, are these characters responding to the words I'm picking? Okay. Um. That means Monica's not in there. Was Monica here the whole time? Oh, shit. I lost Monica, the girl that I picked. Fuck. Okay, let's see. Destiny. Destiny. Uh, infallible. Passion. Analysis. Passion. Disown. Love. Puppy kiss. Skipping. Suicide. Lollipop. Embrace. Lust. Lust! Are they reacting to my picks or are they, is this just like a repeat thing? I really need to know. It affects gameplay. Okay, so they do react when I pick. Okay. <clears throat> um. Pleasure, universe, extraordinary, contamination, no, just, just, just extraordinary. Spinning, flying, promise, try your heartbeat, socks, anime, candy, frightening. Frightening. Playground, raindrops, clumsy. Sadness, comfort. Lazy. <laughs> Philosophy. Okay, the last word to pick. Fear. Okay. We picked random words. Let's go. I tried to keep a theme going, but it was kind of hard to do that. I wanted to invoke, uh, you know, those feelings of um, emptiness and loneliness and shit like that. But, you know. 
but you carve your path and you make it so that, you know, you break away from anxiety and shit. <laughs> That's where I was going with my poem. Um, glad to see you didn't run away on us. Okay. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I kept my word. Back at the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise. I hope this isn't too overwhelmingly... Overwhelming of a commitment. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Come on, like you deserve any slack. Told me you didn't even want to join the clubs last year too i don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what i have to like make the pink haired girl like the secondary character so i'm gonna be like i'm gonna read it like very intensely when i when i'm reading that character's uh dialogue but if you don't take us seriously then you won't see the end of it <clears throat> natsuki you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in, in the club room <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying manga and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Yosukami always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. It helps me with the busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. You almost set your house on fire once. That's so. <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I'm a little jealous. How come you and Yusukami can become good friends? Um. So you're right. Huh? What? Usually, as usual, Sari seems oblivious to the weird situation she puts me into. Oh. Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sari. Eh? Me? Not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? What are you playing matchmaker here? What is this? Never mind. Sorry, it made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. What do I do? Oh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gesture from you, I suppose. Look, she's obviously into you, stupid Yosugami. You need to, like, freaking ask her out. Jeez. You're so stupid. Stupid. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. We just enter her bag and pulls out a book. I don't want you to feel like... <laughs> so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. Okay. <clears throat> it's a short read, so it should... Keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, because why you're not reading much. See, she's fucking hitting on you. Thank you, I'll definitely read this. Enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing your thing. Not in Rosella Land. I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities. Doesn't seem to be the case. Sorry, and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already burning. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around the closet. <laughs> My god. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her. I catch a glimpse of the co I'm, a I'm really excited as to what the disturbing stuff is. Because this really just seems like the, the, the bare bones, like, standard, typical visual novel. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. It's like, you know what it is? It's probably all these girls are, like, probably, like, crazy or something. Uh, I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and our eyes meet for a split second. Okay, apparently, I guess, the words that I picked uh, associated most with this character, and that's why it's focusing on this character. That's probably why. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her back. 
I was just spacing out. I'm probably sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book that you gave me, right? Um, I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Stopped at the bookstore yesterday. I... Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. That's not what I meant. I just have to buy two of them. Oh, so she's, like, giving me one? Okay. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. Definitely start reading it soon. It's a hard time putting it down. Very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about anyway? <clears throat> well, mm, Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, if it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister, but as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by this, these people who escaped from a human experiment prison, and while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? You made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Ha ha ha. Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Yusukami? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. Holy shit, that kind of sounds like me. No wonder I picked this character for me, dude. Holy shit. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in, then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they may not to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. Rambling, alright? Don't trust her! Oh, shit! Not again! Sorry. So maybe she wants to know what you're splitting. <laughs> oh my god. Less interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. You know what? No matter where this ride is taking me, I accept it. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts. You wanna know why? Because I have some good, you know, rum and coke. That's all I need. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. <clears throat> Please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think, sh think you need to worry. Just means you're passionate about reading. The least you can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah, uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. Uh, what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Let me just get the book. Treat the book that I put in the bag. It's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to yours. Oh. Yeah. Are you sure? It's a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I understand what Yuri means about reading in 